Hello everyone and welcome to SEO Explains. I'm Adhir Vora. And I'm Sai Spandana. In today's video, we will be discussing four cases which were prominently cited during the Article 370 Constitution Bench hearings. These cases laid down key features of Article 370, ranging from the powers of the President, the authority of the Constituent Assembly of Jammu and Kashmir, and the nature of Article 370 in the Indian Constitution. Premnath Kaur versus Jammu and Kashmir is one of the earliest cases to discuss the assenting powers of the Constituent Assembly of Jammu and Kashmir in 1958. In this case, the petitioners challenged the legislative powers of the Maharaja of Jammu and Kashmir. The challenge came after Yuvraj Karan Singh passed a law abolishing big landed estates. The argument was that Yuvraj Karan Singh had no legislative authority because of Article 370. A constitution bench, although, upheld the law affirming that the Maharaja possessed the legislative powers required to enact it. The bench also observed that the Indian constitution makers attached great importance to the final decision of the Constituent Assembly of Jammu and Kashmir, ensuring that any exercise of powers conferred to the parliament and the president is conditional to the final approval of the Constituent Assembly of Jammu and Kashmir. The judgment also held that Article 373 authorizes the president to declare by public notification that this article, that is 370, shall cease to be operative or shall be operative only with specified exceptions or modifications. But this power can be exercised by the president only if the constituent assembly of the state makes a recommendation in that behalf. Next, we have Puranla Lakhanpal versus President of India in 1961. This case granted far-reaching amending powers to the president under Article 370. The case pertained to a presidential order that modified Article 81 of the constitution, which deals with the composition of the Lok Sabha. The order permitted only indirect representation for the people of Jammu and Kashmir in the Lok Sabha. The petitioners in this case argued that with this order, the president exceeded his powers. The president, they said, could not make radical alterations to the provisions of the constitution while applying them to Jammu and Kashmir. The bench, however, dismissed the petitioner's arguments. They observed that the word modification in Article 371 must be given the widest meaning in the context of the constitution. And in that sense, it included within it an amendment power that could not be limited to modifications that do not make any radical transformation. Our next case is Sampath Prakash versus Jammu and Kashmir, a case from 1968 and is possibly the most important one when it comes to the powers of the president to modify provisions of the constitution as applicable to Jammu and Kashmir. The petitioner in this case challenged the president's role after the dissolution of the constituent assembly of Jammu and Kashmir. By this time, the constituent assembly of JNK had dissolved for almost 10 years. They argued that the article contained only temporary provisions which ceased to be effective after the Constituent Assembly of the state had completed its work by framing a constitution. Thus, the president could not modify any provisions. The constitution bench held that Article 370 would continue to exist even after the dissolution of the Constituent Assembly of Jammu and Kashmir. They explained that Article 373 clearly dictates that Article 370 would cease to be operative only on the recommendation of the Constituent Assembly of the state. They held that no such recommendation was made by the Constituent Assembly at the time of their dissolution. Therefore, the provision remains applicable. In other words, the court held that Article 370 was a permanent feature of the Constitution and the President had wide powers to amend the provision. We now come to the last case on our list, which is Mohammed Makbul Damano versus State of Jammu and Kashmir. This case elaborates the power of the president to modify the meaning of the words in the constitution. In 1972, a constitution bench had to decide the validity of a presidential order which modified Article 367, the interpretation clause of the constitution. This order replaced the phrase Sadari Riyasat to governor. The petitioners challenging this order argued that it lacked the recommendation of the Constituent Assembly, which had already dissolved. The Supreme Court, however, upheld the validity of this presidential order. The court reasoned that the amendment was a mere clarification because the office of the Sadari Riyasat no longer existed. According to the court, the governor had succeeded the Sadari Riyasat and was entitled to exercise all the powers that previously vested with the other office. 
With this, we conclude our list of cases pertaining to Article 370. Don't forget to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel and also visit seobserver.in for more stories from the Supreme Court.